Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. I have a uh, close to 18 plus years of experience working uh, in uh, multiple MNSCs around the globe and uh, having in-depth knowledge of DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, so I would like to introduce you uh, one certification program in a DevOps and that is we, we call it DevOps Certified Professional. Uh, now this is a two months of program, 25 tools uh, of DevOps you will learn. And uh, apart from that, you will also get the access to the LMS, lifetime access to the videos portal. It's a certification program and uh, you will have 25 assignments and two projects along with it. It's a completely weekend program. So here you have a classes on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so as part of this course, you will learn multiple things. Here you see that uh, you will learn Linux, AWS, Docker, Jira, Confluence, Python, Git with GitHub, SonarCube, Maven, Gradle, Packer, Artifactory, Selenium, Jmeter, Ansible, Kubernetes, Helm, Terraform, Jenkins, Datadog, Splunk, and Neuralink. Uh, now, how do we, uh, you know, apply for this? So, how can you reach out to us? So, you have a WhatsApp number and email ID. So, please uh, reach out to us, and we'll help you to onboard this program. Uh, apart from this uh, DevOps certified professional programs, we are offering other certifications as well in a DevSecOps, SRE, and uh, one of the very very comprehensive programs which we have is in ma is in Master in DevOps Engineering. Yeah, so feel free to get in touch with us and then uh, end all for it. Thank you. Yeah, now. Yeah, so Datadog is a web service. It's like a website for monitoring purpose. The right keyword is observability, not monitoring, because monitoring is an old terminology. Latest terminology is observability. So observability, which includes infrastructure monitoring, and then and then performance monitoring performance monitoring then log monitoring then synthetic monitoring and then rum monitoring these five types of monitoring we call it observability understand this if someone will ask you hey what is observability you can say observability is like a next phase of monitoring under the observability we monitor infrastructure apm logs synthetic rum and so on so what you get it infrastructure monitoring you get matrices matrices means cpu ram storage hard disk apache matrix stormcat matrix mysql matrix and something like that in APM what you get you get a trace trace means what APM trace what so in a, in a I'll put it in a very simple way millions of people are accessing amazon.com flipkart.com APM is a process to find out the performance of those requests which user is having good performance I mean they requested the website let's say flipkart or Amazon and they got a good response but which user is not having the good response time and apm is a process to find out the culprit what why these users are not having the right response time performance of the website how do you get it using apm process the metrics you get it the the data you get it is trace you, trace means you hit the browser browser to dns server dns server to load balancer load balancer to web server web server to app server app server to database server database server and some third party library like a payment gateway so we need to trace it and where is the problem we need to find out that process is called apm third types of data which you have a log which you understand that application logs network log operating system logs and so on synthetic monitoring is a kind of monitoring to check the uptime now synthetic monitoring is not done by human but done by robots from the different different part of the world i'll show you the demo you'll understand easy way let's say i want to know 
my website is up and up or not healthy or not how do you do that synthetic monitoring there is one api endpoint you want to monitor it whether it's up or not reachable or not how do you do that synthetic monitoring so in synthetic monitoring also you get a trace information a trace data in the rum rum stand for real user monitoring anyone have heard about the google analytics anyone all of you yes rajesh yeah so that's a rum google analytics is equal to rum what what you monitor using what google analytics monitor they monitor okay how much time you spend on the website what you do from which city you are from which location before coming to my website which website you visited after my website which website you will visit this is called session recordings for users real user monitoring so that is you get a session record session data you get it so all these types of five types of monitoring under under which under one umbrella we do that that's called observability so datadog is a website that means you don't need to set up a server or something and it's an observability platform for all this thing and once you have a collected all this kind of data which i'll do that in front of you after that alerts and dashboard this is something which we do that so are you comfortable all of you in simple way so do you see a <laughs> The APM tool, which is like App Dynamics, like the Log Mountain, yeah, yeah. like Splunk, nothing is required when you use this one. I mean, you don't need that. No. Tools. See, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, if you look at the agenda, uh, let me open up agenda. That will be easier for me. So, if you open up agenda, I have added. Look at this. Infrastructure monitoring. I added Datadoc log monitoring i added splunk performance monitoring the one which i was you are talking about new relic uh, is part of the devops in sri we have few more tools you can check it out so so am i trying to say like you can use datadoc for infrastructure monitoring no you know infrastructure monitoring datadoc introduced first splunk was introduced for the log monitoring application performance monitoring new relic was introduced but if you look at the today's the scope of the tool okay every tool is doing everything so we have we have datadoc we have splunk we have new relic we have app dynamics we have a dynatrace we have grafana we have elastic every tool is doing everything because they cannot survive if they are doing only one thing so similar way datadog is doing everything but they in, initially they introduce in the infrastructure so dynatrace is very powerful in the performance monitoring app dynamics is also very powerful in app performance monitoring but they are doing everything actually okay okay yeah. getting my points Okay, so this is something which we have. So now, Datadog, because it's a website, okay, you need to send the data. So how do you send the data? So it's very simple. This is your server. Okay, you can save virtual machines or anything as such. I'll not complicate too much. This is your server, and this is your website, Datadog website, and this is you. SR engineer. Okay, and you will access the data doc for the, all the matrices, all the traces, all the logs, all the session information. So how this data doc website will get it? So what you have to do? You have to install one agent here, and install the agent, run the agent, and this agent will send all the data, and then you can get it. And once the data is there, you can create alerts and dashboard. At a high level, are you understanding all of you? Hello. Yeah. 
Yeah, Rajesh. Hello. So in the enterprise environment, uh, all the employees' devices will have the agent, and then they they send the data to uh, a centralized server. Datadog yes. website cloud. Okay. Okay. So how do we get started this Datadog? So here you just spit, hit it this one, datadoghq.com, and you see get free get started free 14 days account you will get it free of cost i mean 14 days you can use all the facility and all pricing and all if you want to know here you have uh just two three days back i started one account so if i log in it is already logged in actually for me trial account only because i was doing some corporate program in a data doc around 40 hours of programs and uh, i registered it Again, one more thing, all this long R sessions recordings also will get it on LMS actually. So if you want to deep dive each topic in detail, in depth, slow, very, very slow, because in corporate, that is how we do the training. Each topic we deep dive and then we do at a very slow pace. So everything is covered. So you can check out that videos also, but yeah. This is the account which I'm using right now. So what we do in this case? So here, if you see that, look at it, my screen, very simple UI, but yeah, you know, this first time you must, if you're coming, then you will feel little lost, but you know, uh, did anyone taught you uh, how to use Facebook? No. LinkedIn? No. Banking software, HDFC, let's say. Anyone taught you, hey, you have to do this and that, no then why you need a special session for learning this website just click and then you will start getting it getting into it it's a service all our service just like aws is service so if you see that here this is the infrastructure related okay this is the apm related the one which i was talking about this is the log related and here you have a two thing in, in this uh, synthetic and rum two feature now, where is the alerting? In Datadog, we call it monitoring. Here it is. And where is the dashboard? Here it is. That's all. This is the something which I'm talking about. Okay, few more features are there. Not so important to drag the boss. So yeah, right now I'll do infrastructure. So here, what to do? Go to the infrastructure, infrastructure list. And there is right now I'm not uh, uh, having any active. But if I do three days or something like that, one week, I'll have this one. So this demo I showed in the last batch. So this is not active. You see inactive. I deleted that instance and so on. So how do we add an agent as per the discussion? How do we install the agent? Very simple. So yeah, luckily I have these machines, which is for the Jenkins. I'm going to use the same machines for that. So installing agent is just a fun, very simple. Okay. Uh, now, how do we do that? So go to the integration, click on agent. Is it getting recorded, right? Yeah, it's getting recorded. So click on it. And the trial account, you find little slow compared to the your enterprise account. So you'll have to bear with it. And here it is. Now, this there's some noise coming from someone. Sanjay, is it coming from you? Okay. So guys, can you see my screen, all of you? Yes. So which platform? Ubuntu. Select the key here. And this is the whole script. Just you need to run it. Copy carefully and run it. This will do everything. This will install agent and start that also. It's so simple. Installing agent is so simple. That's one of the reason we all love Datadog. Okay. So now we'll say Rajesh, uh, do we have any tutorial or something which I can do? Video you have an LMS, but tutorials also hell lot of it. You have it. Datadog. Just type it. And these all are tutorials for Datadog only. For example, right now you are installing Linux agent, right? Just type it and here you see Ubuntu, RHEL, Windows, 
you want to see windows so all these tutorials also you have it and so on anyways so my agent he got stalled and this command i'll check to check the status status is running now i want you to focus on one file which is very important and that file you should not take it lightly and that is this one look at the address etc datadog agent dot datadog yaml file what is this file so if you want to change anything in the agent configuration you have to modify this file i repeat hundreds of entries you will find in this if you want to change anything you have to modify this file datadog.yaml file it's a configuration file this is the main work you have you have to go through all the entries and modify based on the requirement okay so this is the configuration file and after that once you modify you have to restart the agent and all stuff like that i want to show you one thing which is important many of the commands i have given you must try it out don't ignore it whatever i am saying you just don't ignore it these are the commands so these are the stop start command logs files are here and some of the config check commands to check what configuration is enabled or not enabled all stuff like that okay so now what to do so my agent is started can we check whether is this is sending a data or not let me check so go to the data doc and go to the infrastructure infrastructure list and you see that here this is the instance name of aws started sending the data click on it what information you want to see so here you have a cpu information here you have a process and many other stuff you have you can see in the broader view also and then started coming just now so five minutes you see started coming all this data so find out okay my what is the cpu uses what is the process rem memory disk network all this thing you have it in front of you analyze it understood all of you don't we have any security uh, access here uh, just just like that if you install the agent then you started getting the data will there be any restriction outgoing uh, internet most of the time is on right correct now yeah yeah internet is on. so like that so this is the one so in the infrastructure now you want to explore all this data in a different editor so always remember this one matrix explorer anything you store in the data dog i repeat it's a very simple way anything you store in data dog you can explore it using explorer matrix apm logs rum synthetic here which i talked about it and so on many other also so which matrix cpu matrix from which machine right now i have only just a second yeah i have only one machine here and you see this 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 data from last five minutes you see see here this is the data so matrix explorer for exploring everything whatever the data dog has it you stored it with the help of agent so guys now this agent is sending the data and you are exploring it yes you will create alerts and dashboard also but not now little bit later okay so this is an infra monitoring infrastructure monitoring means vm monitoring machines windows linux and all are you understanding all of you hello so guys here if you see if you see that here uh one box matrix has come but process is not enabled what to do i'll tell you go to the configuration file which i am modifying right now i told you this file is very important there's entry called process config process config i remember that so i'm going through that but you will have to practice it it takes some time uh, to get comfortable slowly you will get into that i'm uncommenting it it was commented and here what is this uh, process for rajesh 
this if you enable it the process monitoring will be enabled one two three four and make it true i told you right anything you want to extra enable it you have to touch this file so i i'm just doing it so uncommented this file these three entries save it restart the agent and now it should be enabled you want to validate datadog hyphen agent status so here process monitoring somewhere it's a pretty long one so uptime is there this one is there uh, this is the one somewhere process monitoring so easy way grab process monitoring is enabled now can i check the process let it come here it should come automatically you'll have to wait for 30 to 60 seconds and then it should automatically come okay so process monitoring okay so here metrics we got it here process will get it in few seconds okay and done all the process running in this machine so you'll get it now guys you know one important thing which we have is integration what is integration then here you see integration what is integration so guys agent is not enabled by default to collect all the logs agent is not enabled by default to collect the all the all the metrics which which metrics i'm talking about so guys hundreds of tools are there in the domain think about it apache tomcat mysql docker kubernetes java postgrel and so many how this agent will come to know if this software is installed and this you want to monitor this you don't want to monitor so what what datadog has done it all additional tool all the fundamental check they have added okay fundamental check they have added all additional tools they have migrated to integration they call it integration okay still that uh, process is not coming let me check one more time uh, process config it's, it's one two one two three four no one two three four enable true that's correct so it will take some time but it will come so ha huh, see here now it has come see all the process okay so now coming back to this integrations so fundamental metrics you are getting it through the agent but remaining metrics tools metrics datadog will not get it until you integrate it because they don't have a knowledge which one you want and which one you don't want so in this case you have integrations okay integration so what extra metrics you want to collect you have to configure it okay so what information you wanted so let's say two integration as i'll show you that as part of this demo one is docker and one is apache so docker is installed so here you have to click on that install so i did it already it's a one-time activity and then let me check the docker is installed or not yeah docker is installed actually okay so what to do run this command see first of all install the docker that is i did second thing run this command okay uh, there is a problem in that command hold on uh, group is not there so user how, what is the command to add a group user uh, group add right see i'm i forgot this command uh, linux command to add group group add or add group or something like that group idea yeah. group add uh, docker and then run this and finally do these changes so where so you have to go to the etc data doc con dot d docker dot d this path if you see that if you read it you'll understand here 
con.d docker.d now i come here and then this file i'll copy this is a sample file and copy and then make it yaml file so it's got enabled and now modify this file okay and match that whatever the instructions which you have it so if you see that here copy this code very carefully and save it and restart the agent so system ctl uh, restart data doc hyphen agent done and i can check also docker is enabled or not so data doc hyphen agent status enter look for the docker entry somewhere on top i'm not able to find it clear the screen docker is there somewhere there but where i need to look at that see okay so done so now can i create some few containers and then see the my agent is monitoring or not so i configure agent this is the way we configure the agent so now my agent will read all the data a docker uh, matrix also and push to data doc so can i check this so let me run few containers itd ubuntu one container docker you know that right second container third containers so docker ps you see the three containers are there now if i want to see that let me go infrastructure and here containers right now nothing is there just wait for a few seconds it should come did i restart it the agent uh yeah i think i did it that's the reason it's status came here also if you look at this under the here containers here it will come see here it has started coming not it came but it should come so guys this is the way you can integrate with other tools like docker i did just for you but other tools also so for example uh, some of the popular integration which i want to show you that tutorial for it docker uh, data doc docker hmm, spelling mistake docker this is the tutorial you see how to enable docker container just now i did it you want to do apache can you, can you repeat the steps once again rajesh um the screen i was not able to visible it was small ha huh, i i gone to i gone to this place here and then here you had a instructions over there so every different different integrations you have a steps different not a same okay. steps so here 1 2 3 like that you'll have to do that okay and you configure it in uh, which file like in the yaml file yaml file here that there was one file let me show you uh if you go and show let me show you here these all are integrations but all are disabled so how to enable it just there will be one sample file copy it and then modify as per the requirement and after that restart the agent that's all okay so like that they will give you the instructions like that see this is the docker right let's say go apache so i system is little website i think is so slow see they have given you apache instruction but this is a like half instruction not a full instruction so some of you who starting from fresh and have no idea then you will get stuck so what to do here the instruction is like this they they assume that you know apache or they assume you know docker they assume you know java or mysql but if you come to my website and step by step tutorial you write for example apache uh, this is a this is the tutorial for apache and here you find each steps in detailing so one step number 2 2 3 4 5 all this thing so here you have apache also mysql you will get it here omcat you have it postgrel you have it docker you have kubernetes all this thing you have it separate separate understanding so let me check that 
container has come or not i still have i cannot see that just wait for a few more seconds so go to infrastructure list containers so did i restart it or not yeah i restarted it takes some time so it will still has not come so let me check one more time uh, data doc uh, system else I, I i don't remember that whether he started or not so i'll just to be safer side restart docker oh, sorry restart data dog agent data doc hyphen agent system ctl and now data doc hyphen agent status and slowly because i have a time little bit so <clears throat> Rep docker it's there but i'm not able to find that okay it's okay so let's let's wait for it it'll come automatically and so on so let me refresh and then see it should come now okay so let it come automatically and then see that so guys this is the step which you have to do that any questions so far uh, how do you do the enable the network uh, yeah so network also same way go to the integrations here and click on the network which network you have to tell the devices and all so these are so many supports are there so which devices you want to monitor again depends let's say cisco so here you have a instruction so install this integration that's the first step it's a one-time activity by the way and after that you configure follow this configuration documents so they have a doc documents and then this document will help you to enable that so more or less if you see that this is the file in the same directory you'll have to modify all this stuff okay so now what we did uh, so here if you see that uh, infrastructure you understood a little bit of it and then integrations we have used it now what i'm going to do here in this in this if you look at this look at this just again huh so here as per the discussion we have completed infrastructure and gather the matrix okay now second thing what i'll do i will do the apm application performance management so for that we'll have to have a some sort of application live create a traffic and then gen uh, generate a trace and then collect the trace this will do that so before that let's have one break for 10 minutes grab your tea coffee restroom and personal calls and after that uh, i'll show you the apm then log synthetic and rom and then finally alerts and dashboard any questions so far if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching